Speed Easy. Reckless here. Uh, we talked about uh, episode 12 of Dragon Ball Super, the dub, yes, and episode, episode 83 of the sub. We did those reviews. The sub was kind of like a downtime episode where they're kind of preparing for the tournament that's about to happen in the um, dub. Goku and Beerus are still at it in space fighting. And then we made a For Honor parody video. Uh, we're sorry to the For Honor community with a lot of uh, funny stuff in it. Go watch it. It's, it's, it's worth it. Great um, one here. This you week, definitely though, watch all of those videos because we said so. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the introduction, man. Anyways, um, today I kind of wanted to speak about some more anime you may have missed. First, er, part two? Part two? Episode two? Episode Series two. two? I don't Episode know. Two. Either way, the anime I chose this week is Scryd. <laughs> my life, my existence has been totally worthless. But I suppose if this makes someone else happy, then maybe I've accomplished something. All right, then. I'll give it to you. Do whatever you want. It's not a bad place to die. I can't breathe! Why are you struggling? I can't breathe! So give up, then. I'm not gonna give up! You've done enough already. I'm not gonna die! It's all over. Hey! Azuma! All right, Kimishima, you win. I guess I'm never gonna stop carrying you around on my back, am I? <laughs> Hang on tight. I know now. It's not that I'm afraid to die. I'm afraid to die without accomplishing anything. There must be a reason why we're all here. There has to be! I'm gonna find that reason! Kill bullets! I see. That's what they were talking about. Easily another one of my favorite animes that is also made by the same guys that produced uh, Gun X Sword, which we did last week. Make sure you go watch that if you're interested. Uh, it's another 26 episode anime. I feel like this guy likes to just make 26 episode anime. I, this one, though, I can understand not going for a second season. They kind of exhausted themselves in that one first season. But basically, it's another post apocalyptic world where they have these sidekick superpowers with, 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 with their minds. They can uh, materialate certain kinds of abilities that they have. Each person is born with their own unique ability, kind of like Bleach, where they have the Zonpok Toes, and the Zonpok Toes linked to their soul, where their alter ability, what they call it, is kind of linked to... Are they special types of people, or are some, they... Yes. Is everybody so apparently there was some kind of catastrophic event that happened in this, like, area of the wasteland that ended up giving people these alter powers. So there's the mainlanders that are just normal people, they don't have these powers, and then there's the... I forget what they're called. They're, they're actually called something, but the, uh, the, the show, from what I remember, they call them alter users, and they're feared by the mainland, and they even want to kind of um, streamline their abilities to make them even stronger or something like that and use them for their own like military purposes and stuff like that. But they're fighting um, in this wasteland for kind of their own freedom. There's a, an organization called Holy and they try and kind of shut down whatever alter users are doing in the area because they're all, a lot of them are just, they're kind of like bandits and they all just kind of run around doing whatever the hell they want. So Holy tries to kind of police the area but they're a little corrupt and they oftentimes just take in people for no reason. That seems to be a reoccurring so, theme in most animes. The government really in some yeah, way, shape, yeah, or form has to be basically. corrupt. <laughs> and so you have another another rivalry um, dynamic between the main character and the, his rival. I don't want to call him the antagonist because he's not. Um, and it's 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 a really rough rivalry again, kind of, again, like the Goku and Vegeta dynamic that we've talked about with Gun X Sword and other anime. Um, they're both almost equally as skilled. They they never outright beat one another. The main character is extremely stubborn to the point where it's almost inspiring. It's it's hilarious. It's just... He, he's, he's, he's the embodiment of 
being a badass and what a badass is. And the one thing that kind of I thought was really cool about the show is when they use their powers, it has an effect on their bodies. So it's it's not just they're not abilities that they can kind of span as much as they want. Well, the no name characters they don't show the effects that they have on their bodies. But when you like watch the characters throughout the show, you'll see the effects that it has on the main character. He has he can manipulate some kind of metal alloy around his arm so that he has enhanced like punching abilities and almost like near flight and just super speed basically when it propels him forward into the punch so it's kind of like one punch man a little bit but he's just got a metal arm and so you, you can see when he uses this he, he starts to get like scars on his arms a little bit and then when he upgrades the power it, it kind of extends to like adding metal parts to his face and his hair and then when he lets that power down and goes back to his normal form his hair actually starts to kind of uh, fade and it becomes a lighter color and then one of his eyes actually will start staying closed when he's not using his power later on in the anime. And if you pay attention to those little things, it's really cool. Uh, the, uh, the... And that's why I was saying like, I can kind of understand why they didn't have a second um, season because by the end of this season, they are, their bodies had it and I honestly don't know how much like longer of a lifespan they will have the action is great though there's plenty of boss battles there's plenty of mini boss battles each episode is relevant there aren't any fillers of course it's only 26 episodes so every every episode is going to give you a new taste of some kind of new ability that somebody has all the abilities are fairly unique and they're pretty cool there's a cool cast of characters any other questions that you'd like to ask about the show because i know you haven't seen it no i haven't seen it and i there's not really too much else to ask except for the main villain. Um, give us a little rundown on him. So, he's from the mainland. Um, they don't even introduce him until, like, episode 17. Okay. So, you're, you're not gonna see him pretty far in. Okay, so try not and to give away spoilers while you're giving him. He's got that. his own agenda for what he wants Holy to do with the Alter Users in this wasteland. They're all kind of seen as vagabonds and just dogs. And so is he like a criminal mastermind, or is he no, somebody? He's not a is he a man of action? But he is. Uh, he's he's the, he's the guy that sits in the back and just plans his evil schemes and pulls strings. He's 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 that. Guy. He's the puppet master. Who does that remind you of? From another anime. Rocket, that, from any Yep, <laughs> exactly. That's what I was wondering. So he's somebody that I'll probably absolutely hate. Yeah, he's not very likable. He's not like he's not a very likable uh, villain. That's great. The more unlikable the villain are is, the better the anime, if you ask me. Alright, well that is all we have for this week of anime you may have missed. Uh, we will be doing these uh, we'll try and get them out as often as possible. But they should be released at least bi-weekly or so. Uh, I'm out, though. Bye, YouTube. Wait, waiting for you. There you go. We'll catch you guys next time on BDZ. Make sure you subscribe! And then watch the rest of our videos.